What's going on, Creighton fans? Duel Lorenzi with the World Herald here. And I think Greg McDermott got everything he wanted out of this game. And frankly, out of these four bye games, at least before they hit Maui, which will take place early next week, um, Creighton wins by a score of 80 to 51 tonight by way of two halves that they kind of replicated and, you know, two halves of what I call pretty good defense. You saw there early that UC Riverside kind of gave them some go, unlike these other teams, unlike a, a Holy Cross or a North Dakota. Similar, though, to a St. Thomas now. In St. Thomas's game, they kind of abused the drop coverage that Creighton loves to play, obviously, behind one of the best bigs for drop coverage in Ryan Kalkbrenner. Uh, they hit some heroic shots, some unsustainable shot making, I'd say. But today, you see, you see Riverside wasn't here to do any of that, wasn't here for the heroics, was here to play its game, and actually kind of started to abuse that drop coverage, got to its spots, got to the middle of the lane, got to that sweet mid-range in-between area, and hit a floater here, got a put back there, another floater here, and before you know it, Creighton's hot start that had it up eight or ten points had UC Riverside with a lead, and this wasn't a 10, 20-second lead like St. Thomas had. This was a minute or two long lead going back and forth exchanging blows, and that's when Creighton really turned it on. You saw there Arthur Kaluma had a few p pivotal plays um, in terms of defense. You saw these guys, after struggling with the ball string coverage, uh, they really started to navigate the screens. I mean, what can you say about Trey Alexander? He's taking the toughest perimeter assignment every game, and after having some early trouble there with UC Riverside's best player who they scouted, you know, he gets skinnier along the screens. He starts navigating, navigating that better than he had all game, and soon enough, they're on a 10 0 run or, uh, you know, up 11, and that run is capped by a Trey Alexander block jump shot. Um, they did it all. Uh, they, they shot the ball as well as they have all season, and they emulated that in the second half. That's something they haven't really done. You know, you saw um, obviously in these games where they're blowing teams out, they're empty in the bench, there's some inconsistency in lineups, and they might start to let a team in a game, but it's not really being taken seriously, right? You saw today they might have played even a better second half than they did the first half, and they for sure emulated what they did in the first half in the second half to come away with this win that left even Greg McDermott impressed, saying that this was the best game they played, the best team they played, and it showed. I'm Joel Lorenzi with the World Herald. You just watched Creighton get a damn near 30-piece over UC Riverside.